First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Grimmel Stone. Salutations to the Akim pushing his word in all sincerity and not truth, right? Peace and blessings to the elect, starting with the 144,000, right? Um, <clears throat> there's a particular um, quote I wanted to look up, right? Um, Integrity is what you do when nobody's looking. Yeah, here we go. All right. This is a quote by C.S. Lewis, you know, and it says, Integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching. And that's really what I wanted to get into in this lesson. You know, who are you when you're by yourself is more important than who you are. You know, when you're doing lessons, when you're around brothers, when you're on the highways and the byways, right? Who you are when you're alone is more important than who you are in the company of brothers and when you're when the camera is on you and you're doing a lesson. You know, what type of man are you, you know, when your actions are not being scrutinized or publicized? You know, what kind of man are you, you know, when your actions are not being rewarded um, openly? Right? When no one knows what you're doing, whether good or bad, what type of man are you? Right? Are you, the, are you doing things just for show, you know, so you may be rewarded openly? Or do you genuinely believe you know, in this walk, in this faith? So we're going to start here in Matthew chapter 6, verse 1. Take heed that ye do not your arms before men to be seen of men. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Right? Therefore, when thou doest arms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues, in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily, I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest thine arms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine arms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret, himself shall reward thee openly. Right? This is a test, you know, that Yahweh shall put forth to separate those who are just doing actions for the praise of men, to look good in the sight of men, you know, who are just doing what other men require of them or what other men deem as righteousness. But they themselves do not believe in these acts of righteousness and will not do them unless they have an audience. You know, we have to examine ourselves, you know, as we go through a walk in this truth. And we have to remember that the times when the camera is not on us, whether we're doing a lesson or we're out in the byways or even just grouping up with brothers and, you know, going through something in the spirit. The times when you're by yourselves, when we are away from brothers, you know, when the camera is not on you, when, you know, the, um, the tribulations and trials and the judgments, you know, are coming on you, you're being tempted. That's when your walk truly matters. That's when what you do truly uh, uh, matters right so let me read on it says and when thou prayest thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men verily I say unto you they have their reward but thou when thou prayest enter into thy closet when thou hast shut thy door pray to thy father which is in secret and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. So you see here an emphasis on doing things secretly, right? Why? Why does Yahweh Shai, you know, promote this, promote doing these things secretly, right? It is because, you know, Yahweh Shai does not want us, right, to, to, um, to, to be attached to the, the, the outward praise that comes with doing these good things. If other people see you do arms, they're going to say, oh, what a good man that is. And you, being a fleshly man, are going to take that praise and you're going to attach the praise as a reward for you doing the good thing. So then you're going to continually do it in an open place so that others may see and say, oh, what a good man this is. You know, our whole generation, a whole generation right now that exists is based on that mindset. Everything is publicized. It's on TikTok, it's on Instagram, wherever they upload it, Facebook, YouTube. Everything is live streamed. Everything is, is recorded and uploaded 
or pictures are taken, videos are taken uh, and published so that others may look on and, uh, and validate their life so they can get those likes and those comments, right? Their lives are validated by others so they take pictures and videos and they put them out, right? For the praise of men, we are not so to be, you know? We are not to be doing this truth Right? For the sake of looking good in other men's eyes. We, we know that Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai looks on the inward man. Who are you on the inside while doing these works? Who are you when nobody else is watching? Right? It says, but when you pray, verse 7, but when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think that they will be heard of, much, of their much speaking. When I was in high school, there was this um, vice principal. I'll never forget that man. When he was praying, right, so, so every Monday we used to have general assembly and, and the school would have um, um, a devotional exercise, you know, praise and worship, if you want, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, and then at the end, there would be, you know, a prayer. And the vice principal, that new vice principal, used to be the one to, to give the prayer. And he would pray for, I kid you not, 10 minutes at a time, right? It would be so bad. Right, right, that students would actually faint standing there in the sun waiting for him to, for, to finish praying. Right? He thought that he would be heard for his much speaking. Right? It says, Be not therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of before you ask them. Right? And then he taught us the Lord's Prayer. He taught us how to pray. And the Lord's Prayer is a very simple and short prayer that covers all bases. The Lord knows what we need before we ask him. We don't, we don't need... Matter of fact, the, the, the scripture said the Spirit, right, prayed for us, right, with, with groanings that cannot be uttered, right? That's not to say that you shouldn't pray to the Heavenly Father, right? But it shouldn't be an exercise in you just speaking as much as you can. No, right? They will, you'll not be heard for your much speaking, Accomplish much in a few words, yo. Right? Let's go down. This is James chapter 1, verse 22. Right? Let me read from verse 22. It can't, but be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any man be a hearer of the word, not a doer, he's like an, unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgeteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he not being a forget, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed. I want to, I want to read that in NLT. It says, But don't just listen to God's words, you must do what it says. Otherwise, you are only fooling yourselves. For if you listen to the word and don't obey, it is like glancing at your face in a mirror. You see yourself, you walk away, and you forget what you look like. But if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what it says and don't forget what you heard, then God will bless you for doing it. So you have a lot of men who they hear the word. And sisters, do you hear the word? Right? Brothers do lessons. You go out on the highways and the byways. And you're, you're, you're an Israelite while the camera is on you. Right? You're a prophet while the camera is on you. While you're out there on the highways and the byways. While you meet, while you meet up with brothers. But then outside of that, right, when you're by yourself, when you're, um, you're, 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 your actions are not being filmed, right, you're a different person thinking that you are now not being scrutinized, but you are. Everything that we do in secret holds more weight than the things that we do openly, right, because that is what exposes the true man, right? Psalm 90 and verse, um, I'll start from verse 7. For we are consumed by thine anger, speaking about Yahweh, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee and our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. So you may think that because nobody else is seeing it, your woman, your children, your friends, your family, brothers aren't seeing it. It is covered. You're by yourself. That is, it's not going to be counted. No. The scripture says, Our secret sins are in the light of thy countenance. The Lord seeth all of them. Yo. Right? And again, what you do in secret has more weight than what you do openly. 
which is why Yahweh Shai promoted doing your good deeds in secret, right? To take away the pride of being praised in open, right? To really see if you are actually doing it because you know it is right or because you know that a man will say, ah, what a good man this is. Mark 4, verse 22, the words of our Lord again, for there is nothing hid which shall not be made manifest. There is nothing that neither anything kept secret, right? That it should not come abroad, right? This is um, Ecclesiastes 12, 14, for God shall bring every work into judgment with every th secret thing, whether it be good, whether it be evil. Right? The Apostle Paul said in, um, in, in 2 Timothy that every house, every great house, as vessels of honor and some of dishonor, vessels of gold and precious metals and some of wood, hay and stubble. Which are you? Right? You pretending? Are you genuinely about this truth? Do you guard your thoughts and guard your actions while you're not being filmed? Do you try to do what is right simply for the sake of doing what is right and not for the sake of being rewarded for doing what is right? Right? The Lord knoweth the inward man. Right? Daniel 2 and verse 20. Right? The point is about verse 22. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of Yahweh forever and ever. Right? For wisdom and might are his. And he changed the times and the seasons. He removed kings and set it up kings. Right? He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. So the Heavenly Father is in control of everything. The politicians that are, that, that, that are um, you know, in leadership right now, what decisions they make, the powers that be that are above the politicians, what decisions they make, right? Which is why the Lord can say, you know, World War Three is going to happen, and it will happen, because the prophecies are, um, are, are, are based on His will, right? Moving on, touching the point, verse 22, He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with Him, Right? So don't you think, like this man now that we're going to wrap up with, that when you're doing these things in secret and no physical man is seeing you, that, you know, you're good. And then you go out when you're, when, when you're before the eyes of the public, you do, you know, the most righteous acts. And you bask in the praise of men and say, oh, this man is so righteous. Look at what he's doing. Right? We've seen countless examples over the years. And the apostles have seen more. Right? I'm, I've just been, you know, in this, you know, 14, 15 years, the apostles have been in much longer. But in my short time, I've seen a lot of men who have fallen out, who have been diligent men, who are, well, seemingly diligent men, men who do videos every day, multiple videos every day. They are, they are very eloquent teachers and they seem very deep. Element is an example of that from the, um, the Dallas camp, Amashabayala. I really used to admire that brother, look up to him and say, you know, this brother is um, it's on point. But behind closed doors, what was he doing? He was being a demon and that eventually got revealed. Right? It says, um, Wisdom of Solomon, Salakia, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 23, and I'll start from verse 17. All bread is sweet to a whoremonger. He will not leave off till he die. A man that breaketh wedlock, saying thus in his heart, who saith me? I am compassed about with darkness. The walls cover me and nobody seeth me. What need have I to fear? You know what I'm calling man in Jamaica? I'm calling man the Joe Grind. Bona man. You see me? Sneaking and, you know, commit adultery with another man's wife in my own bed. Bona man. You see me? Joe Grind. You know, who seeth me? The most high will not remember my sins. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, knowing not that the eyes of the Lord are ten times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of man and considering, right, the most secret parts, right? It says he knew all things ere ever they were created. That means before they were created, he knew them. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them also. Before they came, before they existed, he knew them because he was the one who created it. And when they came to pass, he looked upon them because he was the one who brought it to pass. So before you even made that decision, right, to go ahead and commit that heinous act. He foreordained that act and then he watched you carry it out. And ultimately he will do what? This man will be punished in the streets of the city where he suspected not he shall be taken. 
All right? So that's pretty much what I want to get into. Hopefully this was edifying and exhorting. Shalom.